In this video, I'm going to explain to you why Dollar Baseline Press with Crossman is one of the best defenses in Madden. And I'm going to show you how to utilize the concept to defend uh, something like a bunch tight end style formation, which has been gaining in popularity this year. A lot of people really weren't in bunch tight end for the majority of the year. And then as we've kind of inched along the season, um, bunch tight end has become much, much more prominent and prevalent. So I uh, wanted to kind of do a little tutorial on how to slow down bunch tight end, as well as explain this concept uh, from Dollar. Now, um, this is a concept that we run in Dollar, but you can run it in any formation that you run. And we actually broke down in our Patreon um, the five cornerstone adjustment concepts that if you can learn these five main concepts, it will provide a framework for you to understand how to adjust at a super high level in Madden defensively. So if you want to check out that full deep dive dollar defensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description down below for just 10 bucks. You're going to be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up at the link in the description below and, uh, and feel free to check it out. I think it will make everybody a better player. I think there's something in there for every um, type of player, whether you're competitive or just getting started. Um, it's a great way to learn and improve. So the base call is going to be DB fire two. Now quick with coaching adjustments, you are going to want to have your auto alignment set to base. And then I like to put match coverage on for the most part, if you're a next gen, um, it, it is what it is. You don't have to, um, for the, for what we're going to show you today. So first things first, um, just basic DB fire real quick. If we just press and we pass commit, um, we're going to get pretty good pressure. We're typically going to get at least one, if not two guys coming in free. This has been the best blitz in Madden pretty much all season long, um, with the exception of maybe when the loop blitz was really good. So we're going to press our coverage. Uh, what this press coverage is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow the blitz to come in a little better. And then the, the next really and really big key here is we're going to walk these safeties down. Now, if you're an ultimate team, I would recommend having inside shade or some type of ability on them that is a man coverage ability, whether it be inside shade and deep route KO, something that will help this tremendously okay so what i like to do when i'm utilizing a cross man series of a, a adjustment sequence we're going to essentially try to funnel all the routes to the middle of the field and create a bracket with a cross man on the outside of the field so if you think about it how, how can they attack me to the to this to the uh, left side we're going to utilize that corner and we're going to put him in a cloud flat then what we're going to do is we're going to start cross manning people so we're going to take the safety and man him up on the outside bunch receiver we're going to take the uh the linebacker and man him up on the inside bunch receiver and then we're going to take the safety on the right side and man him up on to the slot so as you can see this creates a cross man uh, series of adjustments and then the last thing that i like to do typically is i'm going to kind of take the tight end myself depending on the route especially if they're short side like this because typically if they're short side like this the tight end is going to be on a drag or a post he's probably not going to be on a streak so we're going to put an outside third over there on that side um, and then maybe like a hard Hard flat if we want to only send four this is a pretty good little adjustment series for bunch uh tight end now let's go over one of the most popular plays out of bunch tight end which is x spot and you might get some variation of this right here so uh, if we see something like this then we basically are going to lurk here and kind of back in here and i'll show you in, in post snap here what this looks like from a coverage perspective from the offense's point of view so if you take a look at this real quick, this cross man is very confusing first and foremost, but also if you watch how this plays, you see that it does a really good job of taking this inside outside approach. And then you have this cloud flat that is kind of bracketing that corner route. And then that inside shade with deep route KO, it's coming right into that area of the field. Now, yes, the tight end is wide open, um, but that's that's the price you pay a little bit uh, in terms of this, because what we're trying to bank on is that the pressure is going to get there before they realize that. Now, if we wanted to take a little bit more of a approach that's going to take away the tight end a little bit, what we can do here, um, let me get that corner back out there. Uh, but basically what we can do here is we can essentially go man to man here. We can take that slot corner rack and we can man him up onto the outside player. So when you man that corner on the outside player, he won't move. And then you get a little bit more of this, right? This kind of style, uh, which I really like where we can cross man the tight end, cross man circle. And now we're in the same basic defense. We're still sitting four. Um, and then you can also take this corner and actually on that outside corner, man him up on the running back, which is pretty helpful. So 
if you take a look at this, this is the same basic principle, but what we've done is we've created a cross man concept with that linebacker on the tight end. We've got the running back manned up if he goes on a route, and then we have that cloud flat on that side. So if they send five out, they're getting screamed at. Send four is really good this year. And you see how good this is. I mean, very good coverage for uh, any kind of compressed bunch style set. Again, let me break this down. We're going to walk this guy down, man him up. This guy right here pretty much always is going to be manned up onto the outside, um, onto the outside player. Uh, actually, in this example, man him up on B. And then we'll man up that blitzing slot corner on the outside player. This guy's going to get walked down. He's getting manned up on the slot every single time. You want him on the slot. And then this guy onto the, the tight end. And then this guy onto the running back. And so you see how we're utilizing these man ups and it just really makes it difficult because let's say for example, that maybe they want to run, um, let's say they want to run, you know, something like this, a little bit more of a man to man heavy beater. Where's your help? Your help is to the left side and outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, take that away. And then you're going to work back to that slant. You see how this cross man really creates Kind of a nice little um, delayed man coverage with a lot of really effective leverage to uh, to your help side there. So again, you know something like, and again, if the tight end does, if the tight end is not that big of a threat, this variation of man up with this, um, and you can even take this guy right here and man him up on the tight end. That's fine as well. So you're still technically sitting four, um, but now both of these guys on the outside are going to. Uh, kind of be able to help kind of play that bracket coverage and take away inside outside leverage and then as you can see this is really effective guys if you want to get my entire dollar defense we explain not only why this concept is good but how to utilize it against pretty much every meta offense that you're going to see um, and some off meta stuff as well in the dollar deep dive defensive ebook so the link is in the description down below 10 bucks will get you access to everything over on the patreon page including all of our ebooks all of our updates any new stuff that we're going to be dropping over the summer to help you prepare Prepare for Madden 23, but I do think this cross man, especially with the way movement works in Madden, especially on these next gen consoles, this cross man style approach to defense is very good, um, especially if you can understand how to use those outside corners as your basically your outside help and then cross manning everybody on the inside that makes them have to not only beat the cross man on the inside leverage but that also means they have to beat the user on the inside leverage as well thanks for watching the video to sign up for the patreon head down to the description and click the link down below